Welcome back to a new video from French with Basu. In this video, you are going to learn how to use Datif the lactical Tefini. One of the best ways to learn grammar is to start with some examples. So here are some super easy and authentic examples for you. Je donne le cahier au professeur. Elle porte le panier à l'épicerie. Vous donnez la lettre à la tante. Il donne la liste aux enfants. Now, before I start explaining l'article défini, please press a thumbs up because that encourages me to keep up the work through all this difficult time for all those who are learning French. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell button to stay connected with French with Basu. Let's learn Datif the lactical Defini. In English, we have only three words, a and the. And in French, we have five kinds of articles. L'article défini, l'article indéfini, l'article partitif, and two kinds of composed articles. I have already made the video on l'article partitif. Here goes the i button. And for the other articles, check the description below. You will find the links. And as for the fifth kind of article, my next video is going to help you out on that. Dative de l'article défini is one of the two composed articles or les articles contractés. Some people confuse this with prepositions. And that's quite natural, even if you yourself did so. That's why they are called datif. Datif is more fun than a mug cake. I never had one. Did you have one? Did you like it? I mean, if you like my video, click on that like button. That is the article defini is too easy to form. Do you know the preposition a in French, which means to, at, or in? And do you remember l'article defini in French? Le, la, l apostrophe, and le. All of them mean the in English. Take these articles and we will mix them well. Don't batter the preposition. It's too dynamic. Don't beat it. What we will get? O, a la, a l apostrophe, and o. All of them mean to the, at the, in the, in English. Now, where to place? O in front of masculine singular noun. A la in front of feminine singular noun. A l apostrophe in front of any singular noun that starts with a vowel. And o in front of any plural noun. Again, o, a la, a, l apostrophe and o, all of them may mean to the, at the, in the, etc. Watch the video till the end because I will give you some examples and then I will tell you where not to use this article. Some examples for you. Elle donne la fleur à la fille. Fille is feminine singular noun. That's why we have used à la. Farhan va au marché. Marché is masculine noun singular. That's why we have used o. Rohan aime jouer au cricket. We have used o before the sports name because cricket is masculine singular. And we use O a la a l apostrophe and O with jouer verb when we talk about sports. Greg veut aller au Canada. Canada is the name of a country. That's why we have used O in front of it because Canada is masculine singular. Before country names, although they are proper nouns, we can use that if the article defini. Les arbres fleuris au printemps. Before some season's names, we can use O à la à l'apostrophe O. For example, à l'automne, au printemps. Le professeur demande à l'étudiante, à l'apostrophe, in front of any singular noun 
that starts with a vowel or a vowel sound. Do you know? H is not pronounced in French. H is usually mute sound. When a word starts with H and it is followed by a vowel, H captures the sound of that vowel and we call it together a vowel sound. So, when a singular noun starts with a vowel or a vowel sound, maybe it can start with H. Now, where not to use this article? Listen, articles are articles. You use articles before common nouns, etc. Don't use them before a name or before a pronotonic or before adjective possessive or before another article or before adjectives or pronouns or verbs or adverbs. And don't ever say, je donne la fleur à la Florentine. She will never take your flower. Use only a before names of people. And just use the articles before nouns. Simple. And press a thumbs up if you have liked what you just saw. Stay happy, stay safe. Au revoir. Hey, I was just wondering, do you like subscribing to random channels? More fun coming up. Click subscribe. It's free.